Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, um, colleagues, friends. What an honor it is to speak at the World Symposium here today on a topic which um, not only I am very passionate about, but I kind of um, is pretty controversial as well, looking at uh, tissue level implants in aesthetic zone, but also stretching the boundaries of it into an area where whether we can place these implants in less than three wall bone defects. We know, uh, we know from evidence and we know from the presentation by Professor Boozer yesterday that two and three wall bone defects are the ones which are not a problem for us, which are predictable in terms of regenerating the bone effectively with simultaneous implant placement. The question for me to address this morning is whether we can approach these sort of cases where we have uh, one wall or maybe no wall at all surrounding the implant and whether implants can be placed simultaneously in these cases, particularly in aesthetic zone. Just to quickly address the issue of the no wall and one wall uh, bone defects, which has been previously described as uh, when an implant has less than 33% of surrounding bony walls would be considered as a no wall or a one wall. I am not touching on the two wall, I'm not touching on the three wall defects. So the aims of my very short presentation are to look at the regeneration beyond three wall bone defects and to see whether there are any advantages in using tissue level implants, particularly narrow diameter tissue level implants in such cases, and I will illustrate it with some case examples. Again, previously a surgical protocol has been recommended that in cases where we have minor uh, dehiscence type defects, where we have minor three wall peri implant defects, these can be pretty effectively uh, restored with simultaneous augmentation using resorbable um, membranes.